me, Ali. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a beautiful start to your day and an amazing start to your summer. I am here today with a cheap and easy DIY 4th of July treats video. I had so much fun filming this video and even more fun eating all the delicious treats, especially the donut. The donut gets the MVP of this video in my personal opinion. I also would like to just take a moment to throw this out there. I just want to put this out on record that none of these recipes are intended to be healthy at all. I had a lot of people in my previous summer DIY treats video commenting saying all these recipes are extremely unhealthy and again I just want to go on record by saying none of the recipes in this video or that summer DIY video are intended to be healthy recipes. They are not healthy recipes at all. They're actually very unhealthy and I would not suggest eating them all at the same time. But I am a firm believer of everything in moderation and treating yourself from time to time. So yeah, none of these are intended to be healthy but they're just really delicious, fun, and easy treats to make for any summer day, especially the 4th of July. So if you have any other questions and concerns, just ask them in the comments below. And without further ado, we're gonna get right into this video. To make these red, white, and blue popsicles, you're going to need a popsicle mold, and I got mine from the Dollar Tree. You're also going to need a red drink, a white drink, and a blue drink. I am using red Gatorade, Sprite, and blue Gatorade. I added about two drops of blue food coloring to the blue Gatorade just to make the color a little more vibrant. Start off by pouring your red drink into the popsicle mold about a third of the way up. Cover with some aluminum foil and then jam in your popsicle sticks. Please disregard the red popsicle sticks. I ended up redoing this DIY with regular popsicle sticks because I didn't think the dye on those red popsicle sticks was good to ingest. So then you just want to freeze until frozen and then complete the step with the rest of your colors. I added in my Sprite, froze it again, then I added in my blue Gatorade, froze it again, and that's all it takes. And this is what the final product looks like. I am so impressed with the way that they came out. They are absolutely beautiful, extremely visually appealing, ridiculously delicious, and I believe that these will be a huge hit with both kids and adults at any summer party. This next 4th of July treat is a fun take on the classic campfire cookie, the s'mores. But instead of using graham crackers, we are going to be using chocolate chip cookies. Now all you need to do for this DIY is sandwich in some fluff between two chocolate chip cookies, dip half of the cookie into some melted chocolate, and then garnish with some rainbow sprinkles and boom, that's all it takes to make these campfire cookies. And a fun little fact, everything to make this DIY I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Here's what the cookies look like when the chocolate has hardened. They are so pretty, they taste amazing, and they are absolutely perfect for any bonfire, any campfire, or any day in the summer. For this patriotic flag cake, you want to start off with some white cake mix and just follow the recipe on the back of the box. If you're using a box cake mix, place it into a pan and bake it in the oven. While this is baking in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, you want to get some strawberries and start cutting them into quarters. So I just cut it down the middle and then cut it down the side and I got four pieces. When the cake has completely cooled down, you're going to add some Cool Whip on it. Now, if you don't like Cool Whip, you can always use white frosting. I just love the way that Cool Whip tastes with fruit. So I'm using some Cool Whip and I'm just placing it on top of the cake and I'm spreading it out so all the layers are very, very even. The final step is just to assemble your flag and I'm using blueberries for my stars. I did not add 50 blueberries for the 50 stars. I'm kind of just eyeballing it. But again, I'm just using blueberries for the stars and I'm using the strawberries as the stripes. Once I was happy with the way that my blueberries looked, I just started adding little rows of strawberries, doing a row of strawberries, keeping a row of Cool Whip, a row of strawberries, keeping another row of Cool Whip, so on and so forth. And 
is what the cake looks like when it is completely assembled. It makes my heart so happy. It's beautiful. It's patriotic. It is perfect for the 4th of July. It is perfect for any summer day. I brought this to a cookout and my family just loved it. It tastes amazing and I think that anybody you make this for is going to be really, really happy. Now on to my favorite treat of this video, the red, white, and blue donuts. You're going to start off with some flaky biscuits. Take one of the flaky biscuits and then take the top of a water bottle, cut out the middle of it, and that's going to act as your donut. Do this with all your donuts and then you're going to spray down a pan with some Pam and just place all of the donuts on it, leaving about an inch of space in between. And then you're just going to place this in the oven and you're going to bake these for about 20 to 25 minutes. While your donuts are baking in the oven, you're going to start making your glaze, which is essentially just powdered sugar and water. There are no real measurements to this. You kind of just add powdered sugar into water until you get the consistency that you like. I usually do about three parts of powdered sugar for one part of water. And then again, you're just going to mix it until you get a consistency that you like. Then you're going to take your donuts out of the oven once they have completely cooled down, dip them into the glaze, and then place them on some wax paper. Final step for these patriotic donuts is to melt some red chocolate, some blue chocolate, and some white chocolate. Place them into separate Ziploc bags, cut the tip off, and just drizzle the chocolate all over the donuts. and check these beauties out. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my obsession with donuts. I just learned how to make donuts at home and the game has officially been changed. These taste so freaking good. I cannot stress how amazing these were. They are everything. And I really hope you enjoy them as much as I enjoyed eating them. This next treat, the slushy, is a huge, huge hit with kids and it is so super easy to make. All you need to do is add some ice into a blending bottle, add a blue colored drink, blend it all up, and then add the slushy to the bottom of a mason jar. Repeat the step with a white colored drink and a red colored drink. Layer the slushy, blue, white, and red, and that's really all there is to it. There is something just so special about frozen drinks in the summer, whether it is an icy, a slushy, a popsicle, any frozen treat, and this one is no exception. It is delicious, it looks beautiful, and again, I think kids will get a kick out of this. And for the final DIY 4th of July treat of this video, we are going to be making AmeriCake cake truffles. What you want to do is split up some white cake batter into three different pans, add some blue food coloring into one of the pans, red food coloring into the other pan, and leave the last pan completely white. And shout out for the hidden Mickey that is on my screen right now. Then you want to bake these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Once the cake is completely cooled down, you just want to crumble each of the colors into separate bowls. So crumble all the blue cake pieces into one bowl, the red cake pieces into another bowl, and the white cake pieces into the final bowl. Next, you want to take about a scoop or a scoop and a half of frosting for each one of these bowls and just mix it around until you get a paste-like consistency. Next, you wanna layer some red, white, and blue cake truffle batter onto your hand, roll it together, and squeeze it. You're kinda of compressing this into your hand to make sure that the cake truffles stay together in the freezer and that they don't break apart. And you just wanna roll this into a ball, place this on a wax piece of paper, continue this with all of your cake batter, and then finally place this into the freezer and let it freeze for about 30 minutes. Take 
these cake truffles out of the freezer and then dip them immediately into some melted white chocolate. Then you're going to take your fork and you're just going to kind of hit the side of the bowl to remove some of the excess chocolate. Then place it on some wax paper and allow the chocolate to harden. This last step is optional but I like to add some white chocolate into a Ziploc bag and then cut the tip really really tiny and drizzle it along the top. It just adds a little bit of a nice design and adds a little bit of extra texture and I just think it makes it look a lot better. And this is what the cake truffle looks like when they are complete and I think these are so much fun because from the outside you think you're just eating a regular cake truffle but when you bite into it you see this beautiful red, white and blue design. These are so much fun and perfect for a 4th of July party. And that is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for bringing me to 